Welcome to Johnny Benny Campus News. I'm Anna. And I'm Angel. This week we're bringing to you the top things you need to know about what's going on here on campus. Get ready for a full recap of CSB SJU's winter sports teams. In addition, we'll be behind the scenes with the OLC and JEC to see how they brought the 2014 Sochi Winter Olympic Games to our campuses here at CSB SJU. First up, a recap of the winter sports with our sports reporter, Lauren Faust. Hi, my name is Lauren Faust and I'm the sports reporter for Johnny Benny Campus News. Tonight we are going to give you an update on your Blazer and Johnny winter sports teams as they near the end of their seasons and get ready for playoffs or the off season. To start off, the Blazer and Johnny swim teams competed in the Mayak Swimming and Diving Championship last weekend at the University of Minnesota Aquatic Center in Minneapolis. The Blazers took fourth overall and were led by seniors Emily Roberts, Lauren Kessler, Brianna Daniels, Mar Maria Getke, and Ellen Dean. On the men's side, the Johnnies took fifth overall and were led by seniors J.D. Quinby and Connor Triggs. Switching from the pool to the ice, the Blazer hockey team wrapped up their season this weekend in a two-game series with St. Thomas. A highlight from their season was twice upsetting number seven ranked Gustavus. This season, they were led by first year Stephanie Kirk, who finished in the top five in total goals in the Mayak. The Johnny Hockey also wrapped up their season this weekend in a two-game series versus the Tommies. A high point in their season was winning five straight to the start the new year. They now look forward to defending their Mayak Conference Championship in this year's Mayak five-team playoff, which start this Friday. Bouncing on over to basketball, the Blazers finished their season on Saturday against St. Thomas. A highlight from their season was head coach Mike Durbin winning his 600th career game as head coach against McAllister in early January. This season, they were led by senior wing Brianna Barrett, who finished in the top 10 points per game in the Mayak. For the Johnnies, they ended their regular season on Saturday as well versus the Tommies. A high point in their season was upsetting the Tommies at home late in January. And after securing a spot last weekend in their win over Carleton, they now focus on the Mayak playoffs, which start this Wednesday. Lastly, the Johnny Wrestling team competed their regular season last Sunday against Augsburg. Two big wins this season were over St. Olaf last weekend and Centenary College in early January. This weekend, the boys will travel to Minneapolis for the NCAA West Regional. That does it for sports, and once again, my name is Lauren Faust. Have a great spring break. Now, back to Anna and Angel in the studio. Great job to all our winter sports teams. You really took the Mayak by storm. Finally, we're taking a peek at the 2014 Winter Olympic Games and how Sochi is showing up right here in Minnesota. Hi, this is Olivia reporting for Johnny Benny Campus News. As I'm sure you are all aware, the 2014 Winter Olympic Games just wrapped up. In honor of the Games, the Outdoor Leadership Center and Joint Events Council prepared a week of fun-filled activities reflecting the competitions that took place in Sochi, Russia. Our team here at JBCN laced up their skates to bring you a snowbird's view of the fleeting performance. The CSB Figure Skating Club took to the ice to the tune of Beyonce to showcase that they've got what it takes to compete in Sochi. This week's events featured Skiing Under the Stars in the St. John's Outdoor University, a broom ball tournament at Flinttown, a movie showing of Miracle, Winter Week S'mores, Olympic kickoff party in Brother Willie's Pub, and more. What an exciting tribute to the 2014 Olympic Winter Games. Be sure to check out more of JEC and OLC's events as the end of the school year unfolds. For JBCN, this has been Olivia. Now back to Anna and Angel in the studio. Let's take a closer look at what's happening on campus this week. The theater department will be performing Clever Maid Stories from the Brothers Grimm on Monday and Tuesday evenings. On Tuesday, we have the privilege of welcoming actress Gina Davis to campus for a lecture in Gretzky. Be sure to check it out. On Friday, SU Track will compete against St. Olaf in the college qualifier. And then, drumroll please, the ever-anticipated spring break begins. Classes resume on March 10th. 
We'll see you back at school then. For Johnny Benny Campus News, I'm Angel. And I'm Anna. Have a great week and a safe spring break.